This spring, I've come to Deer Leap in the Mendip Hills to find a bird who many have heard but not seen, the Eurasian Skylark, an emblematic bird whose liquid and sweet melodic song is a symbol of summer days here in the UK. I hope to get up close with these beautiful birds and share a little of what makes these birds a special part of our Mendip Hills AONB. Skylark numbers have halved in the last 40 years, so why is Deer Leap a place where skylarks can still be seen and heard? Well firstly, it's a nationally protected archaeological site, an ancient medieval farmstead, and this means the wildlife that inhabit the area gains some protection too. The site is managed by the AONB team, and sheep are allowed to graze here all year round, which helps promote healthy populations of wildflowers and butterflies. The grazing helps keep conditions right for wildflower seeds, and it's vital to keeping this nature reserve protected. And finally, the south-facing slopes and limestone grassland are the perfect habitat for birds that nest on the ground, and that means skylarks. One of the best ways to hear a skylark up close is with a directional microphone like this one. It's a plastic dish that bounces and gathers the sound and directs it towards the microphone which is located here. And it's incredibly sensitive to direction, so you can spot the skylark through the eyepiece here. And when you've got the bird lined up, it gives you the most wonderful sound of its song, as though it's much, much closer to you. Today I want to do some recording, so I'm passing the signal through a little voice recorder here, and there's a skylark that's just started singing off in the distance here at Deer Leap, so I'm going to see if I can line him up, press record, and capture that song. Skylarks are born to sing. They sing on the ground and they sing in the sky. Their song is seen as a quintessential symbol of English summers and their voice has inspired poetry, art and music. I soon discovered that listening to these birds is easier than seeing them, and my days on Deer Leap were usually spent walking the fields and spinning my camera around wildly, trying to capture their fast darting flights. But occasionally, if you're in the right place at the right time, the skylarks let you see them. The males can be spotted rising almost vertically from the nesting sites. They hover effortlessly, singing from a great height before parachuting back down to earth. These long and complicated song flights can last for up to an hour and the birds can reach over 300 metres high before descending. They'll also sing from perches, fence posts or large rocks. Their choice of nesting site is influenced by the height of the grass and relative safety of the area. The nest is a hollow in the ground, lined by the female with leaves, grass and hair. Skylarks generally make two or three nesting attempts in the same area of farmland during a breeding season. But if they're disturbed or conditions are not quite right, 
they won't breed that year. Skylarks are in decline at Deer Leap and across the whole United Kingdom, and it's hard not to see that we humans are having the biggest impact. At Deer Leap, the biggest threat that our Skylarks face is dogs. When off the lead throughout the Deer Leap site, dogs are disturbing the delicate balance of conditions that allow Skylarks to successfully build nests on the ground. It's clear that if we want the sound of summer to continue to be heard on the Mendip Hills, then protecting the nesting sites is the number one goal. The future hangs in the balance for the Skylark. Help us to protect these birds so that we can continue to hear them singing on the Mendip Hills in the future.